Um, the one thing we haven't talked about in detail yet is kurtosis. And this is another way to quantify the ultrasound. Um, kurtosis is a statistical parameter that uh, essentially measures how peaky the signal is. And it's, it's expressed as a K number. So a random signal, as we said earlier, would have a kurtosis of about three. Um, a serious defect would be something with a kurtosis over 20. So the higher the kurtosis number, the more significant the amplitude peaks are. Kurtosis, it's kind of a complicated definition, but in simple terms for the purpose of uh, a CAT1 course, um, it's simply a measure of how similar all the values are. So if the signal is noise, then all of the numbers are similar, right? So not a lot of peaks. So it has a low kurtosis value. If the signal had one large spike plus that background noise, then the kurtosis value would not change, but the crest factor would change a great deal, right? Because that's you've introduced a large peak. So if there were a lot of spikes, then the kurtosis value would increase. So peak only is looking at what's a single peak. Kurtosis is looking at when there's multiple large peaks. And so these two signals, as we mentioned earlier, would have about the same crest factor, but the dip, but they would have very different kurtosis values. You see the one on top, the time waveform on top has a lot of peaks to it, where the one on the bottom uh, doesn't have as many peaks. Well, I'm not saying that correctly. Larger amplitude peaks and more of them than on the bottom time waveform. So the uh, time waveform on the top would have a much higher kurtosis number than the one on the bottom. So here's an example of uh, if we took a kurtosis of three, that's the green trace, and a kurtosis of four would be in the purple tech trace. So you'll see that there's a lot more purple spikes that are sticking out uh, from the, the base RMS.